I'm Joseph Lynn, an executive chef of the barn at Blackberry Farm. And um, what we're going to do today is uh, cook a duck breast uh, from here in Tennessee, uh, from Specialty Duck Farms. And what we're going to do is cook that with a uh, wonderful toasted farro, forbidden rice, um, and some carrots. It's almost like a duck fried rice dish. So what we're going to do to get started is we're going to take um, our duck breast, lightly season it. place it into a cast iron skillet here. Uh, these are really great for searing duck because um, the way they retain the heat after they're hot. So we started preheating this on um, just a low heat and we're just adding a little bit of the duck fat to help the rendering process. So we're going to place this in, fat side down, and just let it cook on a low, low temperature to render out all the fat out of the duck breast. This will probably take about 10 to 15 minutes. Now since some of this oil is, uh, or fat has rendered from the skin, we're going to remove some of it and just put it into this extra pan that we have here to the side. So we're just going to check the skin and make sure to see where we are, if it's getting golden. And it looks like it is, so we're going to go ahead and flip this over and let it cook on the other side for a few moments. So one thing I like to do um, to kind of add some flavor to this duck is add just a little bit of fresh thyme to the pan. What that kind of does is infuses the fat with a little bit of the herbs and um, Gives you the flavor of that. So we're just going to baste some of the fat over that. You'll hear a little bit of sizzle, and that's just the water leaving the time. And what that's going to do is just transfer to the duck and give you some more added flavor. So now our duck is ready to be removed from the pan and allow it to rest. I'm just going to simply take it out. Put it on a plate and just let it rest for about five to ten minutes before we carve it. While that's resting, we can go ahead and complete the rest of the dish um, and use the same pan that we use. So this, that's one thing I like about this dish is you can cook it all in one pan. Uh, so what we're going to do is actually with the remaining fat that's in the pan, we're going to uh, start with the par and toast it off lightly. So we're going to increase our heat to about medium because we've been cooking this duck on low the entire time. We're just going to slightly stir this around in the pan just so it's kind of coated in the duck fat. What we're trying to do is get a little bit of uh, crispy texture uh, for this. It'll be a nice contrast with everything else. We'll have the crispy skin, the crispy farro, and then we're going to actually add the forbidden rice, which is going to be kind of soft. So I'll add a little bit of the forbidden rice. Season lightly with a little bit of salt. Add a little bit of black garlic puree. We're going to add a few carrots as well. We're going to kind of keep those to the side of the pan so they don't get mixed in with everything. Finish by adding a few scallions. A little bit of white soy. So now we're ready to go and plate this. To plate this dish, what we're going to do is take a little carrot puree, put just a little bit on the plate, a little bit of black garlic puree, and these are just the sauces for the dish. Put a little of our toasted farro and forbidden rice down. And slice our duck so it's well rested now. And we'll just garnish it with a few of the And that's how we do the Tennessee roasted duck with forbidden rice, toasted farro, 
and garden carrots.